Hi guys, welcome to this short review about the Coppertone Sports Clear SPF 50 and as already mentioned in the title I give it a 4 star out of 5 stars on Amazon it has a 3.6 star at the moment there are many really good reviews there are many bad reviews so uh, what are the good things and what are the complaints I mean regarding the ingredients we see the normal things which we always see when it comes to chemical sun protection I mean it has this octocrylate oxybenzone and all the other stuff which is actually not super healthy definitely there is uh, plenty on agreement on that that there is healthier stuff around I mean first for you when you put it on your skin it goes into your skin and it goes even into your body and it has some uh, effect on your hormones like it could be detected even after you have been in the bathroom I mean I, I don't have to go into details but it really goes deep into your body and it changes some things but I mean uh, people have been using this since uh, decades and uh, I would say usually it's pretty safe but it can have some negative impact and there are safer things to do so a lot of people these days uh, prefer these think uh, things of course these think uh, sunscreens I mean not this one of course uh, they have a lot of uh, advantages they are uh, more healthy or considered to be more healthy and they are re-friendly this thing is not re-friendly definitely if you're going to a place like Key West where they ask to only put on uh, reef friendly things this is not the thing to use but like we think uh, yeah it's it's uh, reef friendly but uh, some people or a lot of people are complaining first thing that you get a really a white face after that and second thing is that it wears off it stays on top of your skin if you're doing crazy stuff in the, in the beach like surfing and so on it can definitely wear off pretty fast not so much with this this one if you have this thing on your skin it goes into your skin it stays there at least for I think they say 90 minutes or 80 minutes or so yeah why does it actually say water resistant why doesn't it say waterproof there is no waterproof sunscreen anymore in the US I think FDA has changed this so uh, manufacturers are not allowed to say uh, waterproof they are only allowed to say water resistant so but it's the same as it have been so when you use that of course you want to uh, know how it is you can shake it easily I mean it's pretty uh, like uh, good running flowing and here it is how it looks when you take it out it is like this and you can smell it really good so hope you can see that yeah now it's focusing you can see that and you can rub this thing easily you can see there is nothing left and it has really this cooling effect because it's alcohol but it's a, it's a gel you won't see it but if you think it's a gel and that means that it's not greasy yeah I cannot really confirm that it is some kind of greasy is this a bad thing no actually not because I have used a lot of gel sunscreens already and they didn't have uh, the same ingredients and they were absolutely not greasy and the problem is usually when you go into like the water you come out of the water and your skin is not perfectly clean so usually what happens it produces these clumps like uh, like gel clumps and so it can be really nasty and then it prevents from putting it onto the skin really evenly that's much better here but the compromise is that it's more like a little bit greasy I mean it doesn't stay forever I mean the thing is with the gel I mean a lot of people buy this they think it's a gel it's not greasy and they put it into their face because they think yeah it's absolutely not clogging not greasy no nothing I had it in my face and it worked absolutely awesome but it felt some kind a little bit of greasy I mean it's moisturizing that's the good thing but if you have 
have already like oily skin or so and you think that's super dry no i think there are drier ones but still it is a little bit uh, like uh, greasy oily at the beginning but it uh, it goes a little bit away i think it really goes into the skin and i'm definitely keeping to use in my face so i is it really a good thing to use it in the face i mean the thing is that it is clear absolutely clear that's the good thing nobody will see anything if you go think you can go uh, with think or, or other sunscreen like sp especially with spf 50 a lot of them are really making your skin or like your face white this is not happening nobody will see anything apart from maybe a little bit of a shine uh, there's absolutely nothing so what i can highly recommend i mean it's just my personal preference and what i'm doing i'm not a, a medical uh, advisor not a doctor not anything what i did i took a little bit of water something like that something like that maybe so that that, that my uh, hands were a little bit wet and then i took this and put it in and mixed it a little bit and put it into my face and that worked even even better so i had like even less greasy less oily thing but you have to be aware that water doesn't replace sunscreen you still have to uh, take uh, enough that it has some uh, like uh, some protection impact on your face if you don't take enough it won't have any positive impact even if you uh, put it on evenly so make sure that you still take enough but uh, a little bit of water definitely helped me and I, it still had like this really strong sun protection but you have to be careful about that it's just like a trick which i use since long long time and usually it works pretty good it helps me to spread it uh, more uh, evenly more easily but again when we are talking about putting this into the face i've done a lot of research uh, i've been reading a lot of reviews and some people are complaining that it is burning or stinging in the eyes so this is really absolutely important don't put this thing into the eyes or uh, not even close to the eyes I mean I have quite sensitive eyes and it hasn't been a problem but I was a little I mean I was not super careful with that I just put it on like normal sunscreen not nothing really special and I've even used this a uh, couple of drops of water but some people obviously they haven't been careful they put these things into the eyes when you have it in your eyes uh, it can you can have a hard time to get rid of it i have seen reviews people saying they had to go into the emergency room for a eye uh, flush something like that and uh, yeah that's crazy i mean so it looks like definitely it's it's a uh, strong stuff i mean it's uh, alcohol it's more than 50 percent alcohol and alcohol in your eyes this is something what you definitely not want so can you use it in, in in your face i would say yes i mean till now i had really good experience you have to be careful i for me i i'm not going to put this on like my whole body it's a little bit too expensive i mean it's not super expensive it's it's around seven dollars and i definitely put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or it right from there it's pretty cheap at the moment i think that when they started it was more expensive now it's pretty reasonable it's not a small thing it's not a larger thing it's uh, i think it, it for me it's a definitely a good way to have something a uh, really nice gel in the face so i'm still going with that and but you have to be careful uh, what you do of course but i don't see any major problem with that it's a chemical sunscreen uh, but it's in a, in a in a good way so that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments or other opinions on that just write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time